Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Around Eddy Tech for you. In this video, we are going to discuss about jump statements. So friends, if you don't want to miss my video, please subscribe my channel Around Eddy Tech for you. And don't forget to like my videos. Coming to the control statement, control statement are further divided into branching statement, loop statement and jumping statement. In previous video, we already discussed about branching statement and looping statements. So in this video, we are going to discuss about jumping statements. So coming to the jump, jumping statement, jumping statements are further divided into break, continue and go to. So let's start with break. Break statement generally used to terminate the loop. For example, if you want to stop a loop at a certain stage, then we can use break. Let us see a syntax, syntax break semicolon. Example also same. You can see the example also. Let us go to the program so you can understand in depth what is happening with the break. So you can see on the left side you can have a flow chart. On right side we have a out, output and in middle we have a program. And in program we have a condition that if i value increase greater than 3 automatically the program so loop should stop. So I have given a condition that if i value increase greater than 3 the loop should stop right so you can see the flow to flow chart once the condition is satisfied it will go to the break and the program will stop until the condition is false until the condition is false the loop is going on continues okay so until the condition falls the loop will go on once the condition is true it will go to the break and break will stop the program so let's run the program so i will take 10 value enter last number I have taken 10 value and uh, you can see uh, my cursor went to the for loop now in the loop i is equal to 1 now what is the condition i less than equals to 10 sorry i less than equals to n that means 1 less than equals to 10 condition satisfy so our loop starts now and it will check the first condition i value greater than 3 no condition fails so what it will do it will skip and it will print the i value so what is i value 1 so it will print i value again it will go back to the for loop it will increase by 1 and it will check the condition again the condition fails because 2 is less than 3 so again it will print 2 next it will go to the again for loop 3 again the condition fails again it will print 3 now it will go back to the for loop again now this time it will become 4 uh, now condition will satisfy because 4 is greater than 3 so what happens when the condition is satisfied it will go to the break so what break will do it will stop the loop so it will come out of the loop see what it is doing it will just skipping the loop okay so not skipping it's breaking the loop so it will come out of the loop and you can see after one two three it's the end of the program so this is how we use our break nice right so let's go to the next one continue Continue is also same like a break, but instead of uh, stopping the loop, it will skip the loop. Okay, so it will go to the next iteration. So what is this continue? Continue will the skip the loop. Okay, so when we use to skip, suppose if I want to print 10 even numbers, sorry, e even numbers till 10. So I want to skip 1 because 1 is odd number. Again, 2 I want to print, 3 I want to skip, 4 I want to print. So in, in such situation, we use generally continue statement so let us see the syntax syntax continue semicolon and you can also see the example same continue semicolon okay let us see uh, a program again uh, i have given a if condition in the red color so you can identify easily and uh, you can see flow chart again continue until the condition is false the loop will continue and uh, the next statement will print um, even the condition is true it will continue but it will not print the next statement it will skip the next statement for example you can see for loop here no, sorry printf here this printf will it will print when the condition if condition is false if the if condition is true what happen continue will not allow to print the printf it will just uh, move the cursor to the for loop okay so let's run the program so you can understand easily so in this program i want to print even numbers till 10 okay so like 2 4 6 8 till 10 i want to print so let us run the program okay so i have entered last number as 10 immediately the i value is 1 and i less than equals to n means 
वन लेस दैन इक्वल्स टू टेन कंडीशन सैटिस्फाई इट विल गो टू द इफ कंडीशन वाट इज इफ कंडीशन ई पर्संटाइल टू दट मीन वन डिवेड बै टू रिमैंडर ईक्वल टू वन ये कंडीशन सैटिस्फाई वाट इट विल डू इट विल नाट अलव टू द नेक्स्ट प्रिं नेक्स्ट स्टेटमेंट सो कंटिव वाट इट विल डू इट विल स्कीप सो इट इज नाट प्रिंटिंग सी नेक्स्ट स्टेटमेंट प्रिंट इज नाट प्रिंटिंग बिकॉज द कंटिव इज पुशिंग बैक टू द फर् लूप इट इज नाट अलविंग टू नेक्स्ट स्टेटमेंट टू प्रिंट ओके सो इट विल स्कीप सो वन इट इज इट हेज स्कीप्ड नेक्स्ट इट विल बिकम टू right again it will check the condition 2 divided by 2 remainder is equal to 0 so this time uh, condition fails because remainder is 0 not 1 so what happens the condition fail it will go to the next statement uh, now 2 is printing right so again it will go back to the for loop this time it will become 3 3 divided by 2 uh, yes remainder is 1 so again it will skip see it is skipping like that it will skip 3 now uh, next it will become 4 so it will print 4 next it will skip 5 because again 5 divided by 2 remainder is 1 so again it will pay skip uh, sorry next it will print 6 but it will skip 7 it will print 8 it will skip 9 so till 10 it will print so uh, I, i want to directly go to the 10 so till 10 it has printed now it is going to the for loop again so this time after printing 10 it will increase to 11 so what happens 11 greater than equals to 10 condition fails so what it will do for loop condition fails so it will come out of the loop see it has come out of the loop and after 10 it is printing end of the program so this is how our continue will help nice right so let us go to the next statement go to statement what go to statement it will jump directly to uh, sometimes it will jump forward sometimes it will jump backward okay so you can uh, say jump state sir go to statement is unconditional jump statement generally we people used to say jump go to is a unconditional jump statement so let us see a syntax we can see uh, forward jump and backward jump syntax one is a forward and uh, syntax two is a backward you can also see example example is a forward uh, jump and uh, example two is a backward jump and you can see here um, i am using go to read when i am writing go to read i use semicolon and uh, read we have a colon okay so let us take a small example okay so coming to the example you can see again uh, on the left side you have a flow chart right side you have a output and this time i am taking age as a integer and in this program suppose if any person enters age less than 0 or greater than 100 suppose if you are entering minus value nobody will have a age minus value right so it will be invalid data so whenever some somebody is uh, is entering invalid data it should print invalid and uh, again it it should ask to enter the age so if somebody is giving right age then it should say submitted successfully okay this is my program so let's run the program and let us see see uh, i have entered minus 10 first so let's enter wrong data first so i have entered minus 10 so immediately it will check the next condition condition satisfy what is the condition if age is less than 0 or greater than 100 yes condition side so what it will print it will print invalid data and again it will go to the read see you can see go to read semicolon and uh, up i have a label read is a label okay so uh, you can see read with the colon so it will go back again and it will ask again enter age see again it is asking enter age now let us give a right answer this time i will enter 25 right 25 it is checking the condition no condition fails 25 is neither less than 0 or not greater than 100 so condition fails it will skip the if condition and it will print submitted successfully nice right so this is how my program ends so this is how we can use our go to right thank you and uh, keep practicing